Now, time this one. I've got a solid sphere here. I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Ready, set, go. Now, hold on. Rotate it some more. This one might be a... Okay, hold on. I'll just do like one, one revolution here. So it's got to go through the whole thing, then it's got to go back. Now go back. Slow, huh? That's it. That's one cycle, right? Unwind, wind, wind. I mean, unwind, 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 and then back to wind, and then you got to go back again. So the period was 35.71 seconds for one cycle. This was example, uh, we did one, two, three, four, this is five, right? So we'll do uh, sphere. The period is 35.71 seconds. This time I, I will need the, since I don't know the torsional constant of the spring, the string, I'm going to have to first calculate it, right? T equals 2 pi square root of I over uh, kappa. What's the I of the, uh, the sphere? It's uh, rotating around the axis going through its center, right? 2 fifths mr squared. So I'm going to have to, you know what, let me bring some couple stuff. Okay, so let's weigh the sphere now and find it's because we now we actually need the physical dimensions of the sphere. Okay, so let's... Uh, Sphere has a mass of 228.5 grams. No, hold on. 228.1. So the mass is uh, uh, 228.1, that's grams. So it's going to be 0.2281 kilogram. And the radius. We'll use the vernier here.
38 millimeters, which is 19 millimeters radius, right? Which is one, two, one, two, three. 0.019 meters. Okay, from that, let's calculate the torsional constant of this uh, string. 35.71 equals 2 pi square root of 0.4, which is the 2 fifths, times the mass, which is uh, 0.2281, times 0.019 squared, divided by kappa, and then square both sides. So for kappa, I expect that kappa is going to be a small number because this string is pretty weak. It doesn't bring it back quickly. You see? Then we'll run the experiment with that thing. With the same string. Okay, so what did you get there? That's it? Everything else cancels? No numbers? 10 to the negative 6? That's small, huh? That's weird. All, everything else just canceled. Only the power of 10 is left. Okay, so now if I put the same string and I put the hanger and the weight and I do that, it should, uh, we should be able to predict the period, right? So now I have a hanger like this. From the same string. This is 10 to the negative 6. And then what's the moment of inertia of the hanger? Well, actually, the hanger itself, the, 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 the rod part of it, is rotating around. The, the handle is not going to have any moment of inertia. Because it's so thin and it's rotating around an axis going through its center. So the handle part of it is going to be zero moment of inertia. The only part that's going to have the moment of inertia is the base and whatever's sitting. So, uh, so let's see if we can unscrew the base, find its mass. Oh, that's good. I can unscrew the base. We're going all out today. This is it. Okay. This one, this one. Measure the mass. Oh, they happen to have about the same radii, 139.4 grams. So the handle is, has moment of inertia zero because it's almost very thin. The base and whatever I have on it is 139. So then, what should be its moment of inertia? What's the shape? It's a cylinder, right? So forget the fact that there's a little hole in it in here. Uh, assume that there's no hole. So the moment of inertia is a half a mar squared, right? Now let's